Yeah, it was uh, low 30s. Um, pretty much, I would take freezing cold more than low 30s. Um, raining, a little bit of snow here and there. The trail conditions were, there, we had a lot of rain recently, so there's a lot of washouts. Uh, stuff that's usually covered in snow this time of year is washed out. So you got, you go anywhere from a couple feet of rotten post holy snow to a creek bed to, you know, an another couple of feet of post hole and snow. And it was like that for, you know, all the miles and hours in and out. It's brutal uh, to have low 30s. It's basically what we call hypothermic, hypothermia weather, you know, um, wet, cold, just the mix of those things. It's bad combo. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, even wearing Gore-Tex and stuff like that, you're dealing with like sweating your Gore-Tex out. You're just getting, um, we call it car wash. We're just getting hit on all sides with uh, with tree branches and the rain's coming down on you and you're stepping in it. It's pretty much, it's pretty brutal. She quite honestly thought she was going to die up there. Um, so, yeah, super grateful um, knowing what it's like being out there in those kind of conditions. I mean, she was cliffed out. She had slid down a um, good stretch of steep snow, um, hit rock slab and continued to slide. So she was uh, hundreds of feet down um, and basically grabbed a small tree that kept her from going over a vertical cliff face. So she was just petrified to move in any direction. She obviously wasn't going any further down, but she couldn't get back up the rock slab. And she was just terrified to go either direction, left or right, or, or pick her way out of it. She's basically felt like she was totally stuck. She had done the all 46 twice before, and this is her third round of doing the 46. And she came to the realization that night that she had been lucky all those all those other times they're like it's uh it's no joke back there it'll kill you she was good enough to have an emergency blanket um uh basically a an emergency bivy um the space blanket type of deal um and you know chatted her through like hey we're gonna be we're gonna be a bunch of hours so you got to do everything in your own power to stay warm um like i said she was terrified to go up down left or right uh, so she basically was in place. So I just, you just got to move. And she said, she basically just kind of wiggled there standing on that rock, uh, using all her energy just to stay as warm as she could. I mean, even then she's cold. I, I would say it's tough. Like I, it's quite honestly, those aren't the conditions to go out in. You know, I, there's a, there's a lot of people, especially pushing for the 46 um that have a said date and or time to do things and, and and i get it pushing yourself is a thing um to challenge yourself but there's sometimes where it, it's just like that's that's a lot and you gotta you gotta kind of work yourself up to that kind of situation like go out and 33 and rainy and and do something smaller being as it's so wet um obviously like a, a waterproof breathable layer is a big deal. Uh, everything's synthetic. Um, it does get tough when it's so wet. And when you're working really hard, you tend to sweat those layers out. But basically, anything's got to have synthetic. Wool uh, is another one. Um, but those things will keep you, I know it's cliche, but it's totally true. That stuff will keep you warm, even when it's wet. Um, I like to carry multiple puffy layers. Um, because one, if it get, one gets wetted out, you can put another one on. Definitely have multiple changes of base layers. Feet can be difficult in those conditions. Um, uh, one thing I would mention is like a mountaineering boot, something with a stiffer shank when you have a soft boot, uh, just tends to flex. You can't uh, kick your toe in and kick step and you can't edge. Um, that's a big deal. So like a mountaineering boot, uh, they make over boots to insulate um, as a backup plan. If you did have to uh, spend the night somewhere, like a, um, they make a puffy sock, if you will, if you need to sit in a bivy or something like that for a period of time.